Innovation is at the heart of what we do as a business. We listen to our customers and understand the current demands of the market. Our experience and knowledge informs us of what problem needs solved, which feeds back directly into our development process. As an example, due to the current global pandemic, market needs demand a solution to help people get back into occupied spaces safely with confidence. The biojet as a result of our innovation activities being directly driven by the current demands of the market. CPA's strategy is to invest and drive research and development and new product development from latest CAD software capabilities. Um, we have a research and development suite, a technical department of five staff, including myself, with uh, three engineering graduates and a graduate apprentice at the moment. Um, so we all work on the various research and development projects and new product development. The Biojet is an air sterilisation appliance designed purely to destroy microbiological contaminants in air. Other air purification systems are composed of sets of filters to try and catch airborne contaminants and solid particulates such as dust Many grades of filtration are usually used and aren't capable of catching very small contaminants such as mould, bacteria and viruses. The Biojet is not designed to filter the air, the Biojet is targeted specifically to eliminate the microbiological contaminants. So it solely uses ultraviolet germicidal irradiation to eliminate these organic pollutants by applying high power UVC light promoters within the unit. The primary marker of efficiency of UVC devices is the dosage. The dosage is calculated by the irradiance of the UVC lamp, so how strong um, the light is and how well it puts out UVC wavelengths specifically over the time of treatment. The Biojet uses best-in-class UVC lamps, which are very high-powered, to apply a large dose of UVC light to the air passing through the unit. Using peer-reviewed studies, we designed the Biojet to have powerful dosage to kill most pollutants on just one pass um, through the unit, including COVID-19 specifically. By using also a high-speed jet fan within the biojet, it means it can move large volumes of air very quickly, meaning just one unit can treat an area of up to 570 square meters. Biojet was designed with a view to dealing with indoor air quality issues in large open areas. The areas where we see Biojet having a positive effect is in areas where we have large groups of people interacting, be that in an office, an airport, food processing facility, aerospace, automotive, education, hospitality and the pharmaceutical industry. The thinking behind the development of the technology was the understanding that air can contain pathogenic microbes similar to COVID-19 and that these can stay suspended in the air for long periods of time, thus increasing the possibility of a transmission event occurring. For example, we know recently we had issues in the meat processing sector where, where the likely contributing factors of the spread of COVID-19 was the strenuous nature of the work, the low temperature environment, humidity, the location of staff and the use of recirculated evaporator units to keep the facility cool. I mention this as it shows what factors can contribute to poor indoor air quality and the potential transmission of potentially pathogenic microbes between people and within the environments they occupy. Understanding these factors enabled us to place the biojet in the optimal position for maximum effect to help mitigate these factors. The challenge faced by any air quality service provider is a lack of standards when it comes to microbial activity within the spaces we occupy. With pollutants like CO2 for example, we have well established limits which enable us both to understand when and where to intercede. Unfortunately the same cannot be said for microbial activity where such limits are not established. This lack of direction should not preclude us from dealing with these issues 
when we find them as we know the damage they can cause to both life and the economy. CPA's ambition is to reduce this microbial activity and by reducing this activity reduce the probability of a transmission event. On a more positive note we now see that groups like SIBSI, the Chartered Institute of Building Service Engineers and ASHRAE, the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers now all recommend the use of UVC as part of a suite of solutions to deal with poor indoor air quality. To summarise, we feel that COVID-19 has cemented in people's minds the need for good indoor air quality and we hope that this will drive better standards going forward. Biojet and similar technologies should be considered as solutions for the future proofing of our buildings against both existing microbial threats and the inevitable arrival of similar pathogenic microbes like COVID-19. The recent pandemic has shown the damage that can be caused due to lockdown, so consideration should be given to protecting our buildings against such threats. Good indoor air quality is the cornerstone of any strategy going forward if we are to maintain our way of life, protect our people, make our buildings safer and more robust, keep supply chains open and running efficiently and to protect our environment.